I had to build a bunch of robots for everyone's term two project at Vancouver Film School. So today I'm gonna show you how to build this one that I never actually named. So I didn't really have a real plan for this robot. Basically the storylines called for a robot that hung up on a rack in the background and could be positioned to sit on a chair. So I built this one out of foam and PVC pipe. For this build, you'll need EVA foam, hot glue, white glue, a heat gun, a bowl or dish, PVC pipe, a PVC cutter or a saw, a tap light, silver paint, scissors, razor pens, a Sharpie, a Dremel, and random parts. So I made most of this out of thin EVA foam. It's easier to cut. And really it's the kind of foam that you want to use if you're going to be dishing. Dishing is the process of cutting a circle out of foam, heating it up with your heat gun, and then pressing it into a bowl until the heat dissipates and it can retain its shape. I did this a bunch of times to create the shoulders, hips, feet, and part of the head of this robot. Again, I didn't really do any planning or measurements. I just used a paint can lid for the bowls. I did some measuring here, but I don't really know what I was doing. I was like, okay, I gotta make a torso portion. So let's cut out this part and then I'll cut a slot in here so that I can glue it together. And I did that and then curved it over and made the torso. My classmate broke his headphones on accident. So that became a chest piece on the robot. Oh my God, this is headphones. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so again, I didn't really plan. I kind of just cut random pieces. I cut lengths of PVC for the arms, cutting circles of foam for joints. The spine is a bunch of little pieces of PVC with one of those end pieces, the puzzle. Piece. You know how you, when you buy EVA foam, it has these long strips on the edges that you tear off. Well, I cut off all the puzzle pieces and threaded a bunch of PVC pieces across it to make a spine, and I sort of built the robot out from there. The top of the head is one of those dished foam pieces. It has holes in the sides so that I could run chains through it. It's hollow, and I put a tap light in there to make the eyes light up. For the head, I was sort of going for a cross between the Iron Giant and Linguo from The Simpsons, if anyone, anybody remembers Linguo. I used random bits of wire and things from various destroyed headphones to make some detail pieces. The whole thing is coated in five or more layers of white glue. You use a sponge brush to paint the glue on, you let it dry, then you paint on another layer until the surface texture is something that you can actually paint on. Basically what I just did is a really uneven silver coat. They create all these streaks and look like actual metal. Additionally, to help sell the metal look, I covered up some of the more obvious scenes with a solid line of hot glue. This is incredible wasteful if you have a tight budget and you're using hot glue but it'll look like a weld line if you do it right and it worked because most of the actors who saw it thought it was actual metal and then we just brought it around to the other classmates to show off my epic robot building skills Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see how it is. It's a hot little robot. So I built this to look really slapped together and barely functional, but I'm surprised because it held up all week, like 14 hour days of shooting. I mean, one of the arms fell off, but literally just popped it back in there. So if you like that tutorial, you can subscribe to check out these other robot tutorials or just any of my prop tutorials in general. What I do on this channel is make tutorials for how to build props for movies and video games. I also upload sketches every now and then that feature my props. There's also a vlog channel that has random stuff just from my life. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Jake out.